Today is a huge unboxing day. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Yeah, this is absolutely insane. These boxes are freaking massive. I am not doing a camera trick. I mean, this is my knife. I mean, it's big. But before y'all go anywhere, we're actually gonna be doing a awesome giveaway with some of the stuff that's actually we're gonna be unboxing and showcasing for some future episodes. So stay tuned for that. And today my weapon of choice is the Cut 4.0 by Tops Knives. And if you're interested in any of the Tops Knives that we're probably gonna end up talking about today, definitely gonna link those in the video description. But due to the fact that these boxes this particular week, by the way, is a super big freaking nature. Um, honestly, most of these packages from different companies or things that I ordered were supposed to come like weeks apart and they didn't. So the fact that they all kind of came on the same exact day, which is today, I'm gonna go ahead and have to employ some advanced boxing techniques. Now this takes a lot of mystical energy. So uh, let's get ready. Boom, there we go. And we have our actual food storage from Valley Food Storage. Now for anybody who watches our channel regularly, you will actually be familiar with Valley Food Storage because you've seen them on our channel and you also have seen them on our PrepperCon videos. But this is actually an order we placed at PrepperCon with the guys over at Valley Food Storage and they just now sent it. Uh, due to the fact that when they were at the show, they couldn't exactly just give us three month food supply at the show. This is designed to give one person three months worth of food. You get six to seven servings of food per day. You're basically gonna be able to eat like you normally do for three months. So if you had to stretch this out for four or five months, you'd be dead set perfect. LA Food Storage does one particular thing that I really, really like is they actually have very similar to the subscription boxes, they have a monthly food service. You can do like a basic, intermediate, and an advanced level food preps box. And it ranges for anywhere between like 40 bucks, 80, 90 bucks a month, all the way up to like 150, 60 bucks a month. If you actually do their monthly service for an entire year, at the end of that year, you'll have three months of preps for four people. And you can kind of break it up. You're kind of doing like a payment plan to pay for that kind of system in advance, which I think is a really nice service they have. So whether you're a single individual, a family man or woman they have a lot of different options and what I like about them is they're very similar to Thrive Life food storage and the fact that they use all organic fresh non GMO foods all right this next one actually comes from a subscriber uh, it's my buddy Donovan uh, we actually got to meet him at prepper con this year and uh, he was going to blade show which is uh, something I haven't been able to attend in a couple years but uh, he wanted to hook, uh, hook us up you decided to be really freaking nice and uh, he actually told us he was going on a live stream and hooked us up with some pretty cool goodies. So we ha looks like we've got some literature from We Knives and a bunch of different manufacturers. This is kind of just cool information. For me as a channel, I was open to it because it lets me uh, figure out what's going to be coming out at the back half of 2018. See some new stuff that might be coming up. Ooh, what is that? Smoky Method Knife Rice. Cool. So it looks like Smoky Mountain Knife Works is doing some crazy uh, blowout thing on straight and um, Smith and Wesson knives. That's cool. Those are freaking cheap, three ninety nine for these. They must be a. Uh, I wonder if Shrey's going out of business or Smoky Mountain decided not to carry them anymore. But yeah, for like Spider Co, it's letting me know what all the releases are, so I can kind of get my ear to the ground of all the new knives. Even though I didn't get a chance to attend the show. <gasps> Ooh, is that Blade Magazine? Yeah, buddy. Thanks, man. That's awesome. And we have what is this? Ah, uh, so we got some gear wax from a Habos Tools. This stuff's kind of awesome. Like, like I said, right here, look at this. I mean, it doesn't matter what you need it to. You can use it for knife and gear lubricant. You can use it for pretty much anything you can think of. We got this little bad boy right here. Oh man, this is freaking cool, dude. So this is the official Blade Show knife of Blade Show 2018. This is the Caligo by CRKT. Uh, from what I can gather, they only made like 150 of these and he got me two of them, which was freaking amazing. So Donovan, thank you brother, that was freaking amazing, you're awesome. And uh, I can't wait to uh, throw these in my EDC rotation. I'm probably gonna hand one to my wife so she can put them in her videos as well. But yeah, these things are nice, dude. Got a deep carry pocket clip. The centering on these are like le legit for like a budget friendly CRKT. Nice flipper action running ball bearings on a $50 freaking knife, dude. These are like, these are super smooth action, man. These are like really, really high quality for their uh, pay grade as it were. So even though this is a really big box, this actually comes from West Jordan, Utah. 
Uh, this comes from a company that we actually spoke to at PrepperCon. And it's something that actually didn't make it on camera because we want to surprise you guys because their company's pretty new actually. But as you can see, <laughs> they got some cool stuff. Holy freaking moly, dude. This is so much freaking gear. I, like I asked them to send us a few things, but uh, I mean, they like gave us like everything. So it looks like we've got a headlamp. This is called the Martell, the Buddy Blinder. Uh, 150 lumens, which honestly for a headlamp, given the fact that you want to see what's right in front of you, is going to be perfectly adequate. That's a four hour run time. That's pretty dang good, actually. Then they sent us this bad boy. This is a sleeping bag, and this is called the Bull, the Buell. Looks like the comfort rating is designed for 45 degrees and the extreme rating is 14 degrees. Um, I like the fact that they say they're stouting YKK zippers because a lot of the more budget friendly brands do not cover YKK zippers, which can be a little annoying. Then looks like we've got uh, so a couple of these. These are comfort rating 52 and 23 degree extreme rating. So these are kind of be more of like a springtime sleeping bag. I would say your traditional sleeping bag. I like how freaking small these are though. They're not what I would consider ultralight, but they're definitely gonna work. Oh yeah, so this is uh, their big, huge freaking nesting hammocks. These things are freaking cool. And I mean, that's really, 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 really lightweight. Kind of dig that, man. So uh, yeah, so honestly, here's the thing. Rover, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. For you guys who want to know who they're attached to, they're attached to the same companies that are 3B Gear and Hydro Blue. So that's where they're related. Those are the guys that we talk to at PrepperCon a lot. We love those guys to death. But since they sent us so much gear and we love you guys so much for sending us the gear, uh, we're actually going to do a giveaway. Actually, that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna take one of the hammocks, I'm gonna take a headlamp, and we're gonna take one of the sleeping bags, and that's gonna be the giveaway. And to enter, I need you to be a subscriber. You gotta comment on this video, like this video, and share this video somewhere on social media using the YouTube tools and watch page below. Now, due to the fact that we have another big box and I know what's in here, we're gonna employ some advanced unboxing techniques. Boom, and there we go, we have survival boxes. For June 2018, and we have the Bravo, the Alpha, and the Gear Only XL boxes. You're definitely gonna be seeing a full video on this, guys. And all I can say, if you're a newcomer, you've never seen survival box before, they are a tremendous monthly subscription service with a tremendous, tremendous value. If you wanna learn more about them, definitely go check out survival boxes in the video description. All right, so we have the Bravo box right here, and this month's theme, which is a total surprise to me, actually, is going to be water filtration and treatment for survival, which is kind of freaking awesome, man. So we're gonna have the survival knowledge cards and a bunch of food for the Bravo box. And I'll put it this way, guys. Like I said, we're gonna dive deeper into this. You get like 70 to 80 bucks of food per month from the Bravo box for 36 freaking dollars. Man, this honestly, if you want a food service and I mean, you're really low budget, but you wanna get some good bang for your buck, this is the way to go. Next up is the Alpha box. This is kind of, I would say my favorite box. This is the well-rounded one. These are about 40 bucks a month and you get a, balance between gear and provisions which is freaking nice looks like we have some backpackers pants use some water treatment <gasps> do i spy hydro blue oh man okay so not to spoil this box but yes so you usually get roughly like 70 to 80 bucks a month from this box too for 40 dollars a month and if you're someone who likes a little bit of gear but you also want some food provisions this is a really really nice balanced box to check out and then last but not least we got the gear only xl box which is uh formerly known as the gear only box and uh, ooh, 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 we got some knives. We have, some, oh man, look at the good stuffs in this one. Ooh, they did good for this. Now I know this is not an exciting box as it were, but holy freaking crap, did they do a good job. They got the virus protection. They got water treatment, Sawyer mini water filter, hide. Oh man, I got some good stuff in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna shut up, hide this away, so you guys can go watch the actual survival boxes. Uh, more than likely, to be totally honest with you guys, it's gonna come out Friday. So make sure you watch Friday's episode, and we don't spoil anything, and you guys can check it out. And then last but not least, we got a super long box. And if anybody's been watching the Battle Box videos, this is Battle Box. So, it came broken. This is the only reason I know. Like, this box barely freaking arrived to me. So, long story short, this is the sit rip car for everybody else. This is the boring Battle Box, but we're going to do this, like, really, really fast for you guys. So, we got a gun tool. We're going to have all the little nifty little gadgets you're going to need. It looks like a multi-tool, like one of those little Allen screw keys, but it's actually made for your firearms. They have the choke wrench is in here. We have some pin punches, magnetic 316 as drivers, magnetic hex bit holders. We have scope and windage elevation adjusters, Allen screw keys, Torx bits, and the whole shebang is made from 420 stainless steel. Looks like, what is this? Obviously it's a bag of some, oh, okay. Um, tactical teeth cleaning kit. No, I'm kidding. It's, it looks like it's a rifle cleaning kit. Yep. So we got some oil, some brushes, all the sprigatish prongs and the wipes and all that good stuff in there. 
And it looks like we have some extra tools for the elongation. Yep, you got all the tubes and the freaking Q-tips and everything to get down in there. Long range shooting handbook for beginners. This looks like it's freaking freaking design. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I already read this book. Um, this book's pretty cool. Let me go through y'all. There you go. So this is where page 111 is kind of where the fundamentals of marksmanship goes. So like basically this is like how to build your bug out bag. Now I'm just like how to like, you know, rifle components, ammunition, guns, rifles, all that good stuff. It's the gear. And then this is where all the learnings happens. And uh, you can also take some uh, notes. Like there's some really cool fundamentals in here. Like oh, it's a really easy to read book. It's actually pretty freaking sweet. And right here we have a shooting rifle rest right here. This is not too bad. Oh, does that look like it's been used? That looks like it's been used. I think someone gave me a used rifle rest. Oh my god. Okay. And then we have, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a cheek rest for like the butt of a rifle. You can put your cheek on here. You can put some ammunition, some rifle rounds. It looks like you got a little, like an admin pouch. And I don't even really know what that's supposed to be. It's a really weird admin pouch though. And it's got some straps for the butt of a rifle. That's pretty cool. That's a fed out. And then what is this little guy? We have some Spartan accuracy grease. Because... Lubricating and greasing your rifle is like a thing. Um, some rifles need it more than others. This big old bad boy right here is a rifle bag from Nine Line Apparel. And then last but not least, we got the Knife of the Month Club, clearly. Um, this thing is, I'm excited to check this knife out, but uh, there seems to be some confusion on the blade steel. I even reached out to Sniper Blade Works and asked them because there's, I wasn't 100% sure on the answer. And the answer I got from Battlebox, I wasn't too confident in is this is their DMF folder. This thing is a tank. So it's basically copper anodized stainless steel, I think, or PVD coated or something like that. And then we have carbon fiber inlays. This thing is pretty freaking nice. This is like a $189 knife. And realistically, it feels like a $180 mid-tech knife. But the one thing I'm confused on is it says this particular blade steel is made from 1095 high carbon steel. And as far as I can tell, it's not coated other than anything other than oil. And 1095 would make me freaking nervous, given the fact that 1095 is a ruster that will corrode and rust on you in a heartbeat. And putting that in a folder where it's going to be in your pocket and having to put keep oil on a pocket knife seems kind of stupid. So I'm hoping they accidentally got that whole bang shebang wrong and it's actually D2. But I'm sure um, the guys over the Battle Box will watch this and I'll send them a link and ask them a question again about it. Hopefully we find out it's D2 because if it's 1095, I honestly, I wouldn't recommend anybody carrying it. And this is why. This is a beautiful knife. Keep in mind, this is a nice knife. I like this knife, so work with me on this. 1095 is a ruster. The only way you're going to prevent rust is you're going to have to take it to a custom person and get it Cerakoted or a clear gun coated to protect it from corrosion. And if you want to protect it from corrosion on the cheap, you have to put oil on the blade. And why do you want an oiled blade in your pocket? That just seems silly. So having an uncoated 1085 steel blade seems kind of silly. So I'm hoping I get a clearer answer on that. And hopefully we find out it's either D2 or maybe it is clear gun coated and I can just shut up and quit worrying. Woo! Holy crap! That was an intense unboxing. Like there's so much crap. I couldn't even fit it on the table. Like literally there's so much crap behind me behind the camera. It's not even funny. But with that said, don't forget we have our giveaway we're going to be giving away a little sleeping bag hammock and a headlamp and all you got to do is be a subscriber like this video leave a comment on this video and share this video using the youtube tools in the watch page below but if you enjoy this unboxing experience give this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing thriving and making awesome videos for you guys but that's just the best for now hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day i'm out